Jorge, in part of your emphasis on relationship, you constantly came back to the word real, real relationship. What's the difference between a real and a false relationship, and how do you go about building a real relationship with a young person? Well, when you're working with young adults and, and youth, uh, I've come to realize that you have to be real with them. You cannot preach something and live something else. Uh, by me saying being real to them is being transparent. Being transparent when they come with an issue, uh, they're trusting you with that story, with that issue that they're going through, that problem. Well, you have to be transparent. If you went uh, through the same situation, that's the door that God is opening for you to share that story and to, to be a witness at that time saying, you know what, I am a youth pastor now, but I did at one point have the same struggle. I did at one point have that same addiction. I did at one point had that same problem. So my advice to you is the advice that God gave me, okay, that there is no sickness, sickness greater than God. There is no mountain bigger than God. There is no situation that He cannot handle. So based on the word that He has given me and being transparent with them, once you're being transparent with them, they're transformed. They're transformed. They accept not only your pastorship, but they accept uh, your transparency. You're being real. Because that's why half of the youth don't talk to their parents. Because the relationship is not real. It's a yes and no relationship. They want feedback. They want to hear the story. They want to hear that somebody went through the same situation that they're going through today. But they want to see it. They want to see what did you do when you went through the same situation.